G'day scrappers. Welcome uh, to part five of this scrap marathon. And uh, oh, just uh, catching up on a few things here. And thought I'd show you the wall that I promised you, the, uh, the, the door. Um, I said that in my next video when I started off, this area will be uh, clear of all those PCs. I did say I, uh, the switches will still be here because they're just... Uh, yeah, that's the next next stage. That'll all be clean steel. So uh, um, that's my next uh, run to the scrapyard. So finally, I've uh, cleared off all these PCs. Uh, I've done a lot more around too. And well, I haven't actually opened this door in quite a while. I can't even remember what is still here. Okay, so obviously this I've got to get to another time. I've thrown stuff in here, gosh, I, I can't remember now, but I know that desk. I do want to get this out and polish it up or do something with it and put it in my computer room um, and get rid of my old one because uh, I like this vintage. It's a really nice old desk I picked up. It's street scrapping. Um, yeah, there's a lot of boxes of stuff. Um, yeah, probably just stuff that I've put aside because I just couldn't uh, get onto at the time. Even look, look at this bags of cable for PCs. Gosh, even nice slot cards sitting here. Wow, that's spectacular. I like that one. I nine sixty. Uh, yeah, I, I've obviously kept it for put it aside for depopulating or keeping yeah like this one here i mean check that out uh, it's just not a card that you want to sell as scrap board because sure this would go as a telecom grade board but look at all these nice beautiful uh, bgas here with the gold corner chips the long ones really nice and all the rest all bgas virtually um yeah and even here, we've got your standard memory ICs. Um, so I probably kept them to... Uh, there's another one. This one. What was the other one? Okay. So that's without the BGA. And you can see that it's actually quite very nice. If this is flashing, it'll be the highest grade flashing you could probably get just by the color of it um, but he, he's actually a, a good example for some of you uh, newer scrappers that are depopulating boards for uh, precious metals and stuff in particular tantalum capacitors so you can see that the 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 rows of tantalum capacitors are identical uh, the only difference is that these ones are black and these ones are yellow right but you can, as you can see, with these yellow ones, they don't have a positive. Uh, sorry, the black ones, they don't have the positive symbol, um, and they don't need to have positive symbols um, because the coding is C, so it's a capacitor, so it's not an inductor or a diode or whatever. Um, it's definitely a, a capacitor, and it's a tantalum capacitor. Um, it's just that it doesn't have the positive. Some people, you know, think that because it doesn't have the positive symbol, it's not a tantalum. It still is. Just like these yellow ones, uh, they don't have the positive symbol either. They've just got the, the, the brown stripe running across the edge. Well, these have got the grey stripe. But there are some uh, things that look like tantalum, but um, it'll be, it won't be a C code on the board. It'll be an L, L4 inductor. Um, as opposed to so that's the only th complicated thing when buying these is uh, unless you're taking them off the boards yourself you're not really sure whether people have been picking them off from capacitors or it's actually an inductor mixed in because it doesn't have the positive symbol anyway I thought I'd just randomly throw that in and uh, there's another one with uh, the i960 Yes, yeah, so I think I've just kept these boards for um, decoration rather than selling or depopulating. 
But anyway, so that's another marathon in itself. Um, I'll probably, you know, I'll wait until it's springtime and we got some nice warm weather where I can take out a lot of these boxes and um, during a time when it's not going to rain. So, okay, so to start off this marathon, now that I've cleared off those PCs, there was a stack of PCs here cleared off. Um, a few stacks here, there's only, what, five PCs left there, so they're going to be gone. Uh, those bins, I can't even remember what's in those bins. They're going to be processed. I've probably got five or six bins that have got small stuff in their modems, uh, Wi-Fi stuff and that I need to process. But So I thought the first thing I'm going to do here is at least clear out this entryway uh, into the garage of all these cables. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, throw in a uh, cable that needs to be processed in this bin because I've got one empty and just low grade is going to go there and I'll throw that straight out so I can at least separate it so everything that's in this bin is going to be stuff that I know that needs processing and the thing I uh, you know these blue cat5 cables um, what I was doing is I was cutting off the plugs and selling these as data cable but it's really confusing because the scrapyard, sometimes they pay more for data cable um, than low grade. Sometimes it's actually less than low grade. I, I can't work it out. So I'm not even going to bother cutting these plugs anymore. I'm just going to throw these complete into low grade. If they're black um, or white, I, I do cut the cords and put them into mid grade. But yeah, I'm just not going to worry about processing all these ones because uh, a lot of times I get like eight inch lengths with a plug on each end and I cut them off and I end up not getting anything and I also uh, have uh, had two bins for um, those two different wires so low grade bin this was my low grade bin and then the other one was for data cable so now I'm just throwing it all in there. So anything with plugs, data cable, etc., just so I can just have one bin for that. And then obviously my mid-grade is, is separate. You know, chickens are sitting in the doorway. Hey, either in or out. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I'm gonna start this off. Well, I've already started the marathon off. So I'm just going to do this for the next couple of hours, probably just sorting all this out. And then um, then I'll just see what's inside here that we can scrap out, have a bit of fun and uh, yeah, continue with this mega marathon. And uh, yeah, slowly getting down. I just went to the scrapyard. I took in uh, quite a lot of scrap. There was almost a ton of PCs. So that was really good. So the van's empty. All those PCs are all gone. Um, yeah, and uh, I do need to get onto these servers because I've I've got a, an order for some more eight gig RAM sticks, and uh, this chicken needs to be scrapped out too. So he's a na naughty little chicken, but I've still got some PCs here, but really not much, and obviously still got about fifty or sixty PCs in the garage. But that's going to be the second. The second wave of processing PCs. I just want to process oddball things now. This is my clean steel. So the van's empty, all that dirty steel's gone. Starting up a big pile of clean steel. And uh, yeah, we'll get onto it. And uh, got a lot of things like these, these uh, Cisco wireless access points uh, and a lot of stuff like that in this bin. Very fiddly, that all needs to be uh, processed. That's just my uh, cast aluminium bin. Um, and uh, well, that's that's all my copper aluminium radiators. All right, so this bin's almost full. Um, yeah, getting a bit of weight to it. So that's going to be a scrapyard trip. Uh, yeah, it's all happening. So, um, all right, I'll get onto those cables and uh, see if we can actually get into the garage and start doing some uh, full-on scrapping, have a bit of fun.
Okay. Okay, so I've filled up uh, one bin of cable from the garage uh, that needs to be processed. So that's all done. Got another bin here waiting to go. And uh, yeah, so one bin gone and quite a lot of the uh, data cable and the low grade has been put away. So I reckon I'll fill one more bin up and uh, at least even though I haven't processed it yet, at least I've um, taken out all the low grade, so that's on. And uh, also had a, a little blue tub here, um, which I, I forgot all about, but um, a few times when people were bringing CPUs to sell, I, I just threw them in here. They were just the, the low grade CPUs. So I've just spent um, about an hour or so sorting them out so it was just uh, the cpus with the pins um, and heat sinks and i like to keep these separate and so yeah that was uh, amazing uh he yeah, almost spent probably two hours because um i noticed i series cpus uh this is just a, a early generation i3 or something but i did manage to pick out uh, about five i7s and um, and mostly i5s but about fifth generation i5s so because they're all mixed in you know I don't go through them when people bring me uh, CPUs um, but yeah since I was sorting through them some are a little bit dirty but uh, they should be still okay and um, what I try and tell people you know when I notice the i series CPUs in amongst the batch that they bring me i always tell them to you know look at the back and get that little number like uh, i5 548 or whatever it is and uh, look up on ebay what they sell for because i was saying you know you're selling me these as scrap they're only like you know five dollars a kilo so it works out to like 40 cents each if that um whereas you can get 15 20 even up to forty dollars for an i5 and some of them are i7s you know they could be sixty dollar cpus so as soon as you take one of these out of uh, a pc and you see it's the long see the difference like that's the old style the square center and that's i series with the the longer square um even if the the i5s are you know i get 15 bucks each the i7s i might get 30 to 40 each you know even some of them might the i7 sometimes they sell for a, over 100 bucks here um so yeah just uh thought i'd mention that for those of you that are bringing me these you know as you're scrapping pcs out and especially now the um you know a lot more a modern style and because these are such low uh, value in scrap wise like these pinless cpus sure you've got the gold um padding there you know but it's not these aren't really about gold recovery um it's more about the copper and that's kind of what we're paying for uh um so uh yeah it's just up to you but uh, i also notice some people uh take these off and like remove this copper part that's fine you probably get just as much actually probably get more value because this is tinned copper um but then i don't really buy these pinless ones so where you got the the ones with with pins and you they also take out the the heat sink off that and sell that as copper and there's one there where you see now this i buy these as green fiber without cpu uh, without um heat sink okay so um it actually increases the value of this part and the people are selling the copper to the scrapyard and getting almost as much so if you've got time to take off these heat sinks sell these to your scrapyard and i i will buy just green fibers on their own you know as opposed to like that's an original green fiber okay so yeah so they're both green fiber you know it's all about the gold pins on these as opposed to these it's not about gold at all it's mostly the copper but these ones at least they have gold pins um and so that's an original green fiber this is a green fiber that's 
it's been created as a green fiber because they've taken off the heat sink so it's the same thing once you take off that heat sink so it's up to you um, you know there's a brown fiber um, I've only ever seen one brown fiber with heat sink I've got one in there somewhere just uh, yeah but with these pinless they're you know very low value as it is so always look out like you can see the difference that's old school that's new school even from the back they do look different because you can see the the gold dots around the outsides so as soon as you pull one of these out of the uh, your PC that you're scrapping always look them up um, all right well I'm going to continue on with that uh, batch of uh, wire and just but at least I can kind of walk in <laughs> And so I just want to get this little area back, clear out all this. Uh, I've got a, quite a lot of uh, copper cable that uh, needs to be stripped. Uh, I might do that. And yeah, just uh, I'll keep going. Okay, well, the floor is clean of all the cables. So I'm well and truly in the garage now. And... I did manage to tidy up a few things in, inside, so the uh, uh, thing I need to do right now is start uh, partially depopulating boards that have been piling up, uh, got them on the bench that I need to clear off, yeah, boards scattered everywhere, so that's what I've got to do before I go ahead and start continue scrapping anything else, uh, just to get on top of these and um yeah fill up the tubs in order to uh take them to my buyer so i'm not fully depopulating boards here what i'm uh doing is just getting a little bit extra value and uh bringing the boards down to the level that i want to sell them as okay so um when it comes to motherboards so here we've got a pc motherboard and uh, whether it's a server motherboard, the only thing on server motherboards is I might get a gold band crystal oscillator, um, a couple of tantalums, but there's nothing to depopulate off a motherboard if you're selling motherboards, because as soon as you remove this chip, uh, and mind you, this chip is pretty much worthless, as soon as you remove this north bridge uh, chip, you've downgraded this board into a into a just a mid-grade board in fact um it can even be lower yeah so uh yeah so yeah don't touch if you're selling don't touch um any boards pc server with the dual socket or um laptop motherboards just leave them as is obviously you still got to take off the main heat sink the battery but um other than that yeah you're you're going to devalue and um your buyer you know yeah is going to really uh hit the prices pretty hard so um all right so i'll just make a start and i'll work out what i'm going to talk about but basically this is my depopulation station and uh yeah it's been a while since i've gotten to this so i've just had to uh reorganize my my uh, tubs and remember where everything goes so basically I'll just give you a quick rundown on the things that I generally pick off boards uh, obviously um, MLCC's for palladium and silver tantalum capacitors for tantalum and silver my my favorite gold band crystal oscillators for gold and silver <laughs> um, as I've mentioned previously uh, pound for pound these are as good as pretty much any ceramic CPU and occasionally I'll take off oh, just noticed a little BGA on stuck yeah occasionally I'll take off crystals and crystal oscillators so these long ones and these small ones they're crystals four so, uh, four legs square or rectangle they're crystal oscillators 
okay just like these gold band crystal oscillators so that's the only real difference i also put little things and um, when i go to sort these tubs out into uh you know i like to separate the long ones to the flat ones to the crystal oscillators and um i also separate out any with uh any of these uh things with uh um gold bases sometimes these long ones can have gold bases sometimes these kind of things can have gold bases so i like to keep them separate so that's four things mlccs tantalums crystals and gold band crystal oscillators then i've just got a tub here for gold corner bga chips so all the bgas north and south bridge and uh um wherever else they come from that's gold band crystal oscillators this one is uh just for any anything gold plated like jacks and stuff like that i bought pins as i'm taking things off um, i just throw it into there because that'll be sorted out uh way down the track one day and uh every time these things fill up i put them into my main storage i just sort them out yeah so that's them uh here i put my um uh eproms so whether they're gold or silver doesn't matter I, I put them in here and uh, later on one day I'll sort them into gold and silver. Here I put my uh, memory um, IC chips. So, you know, obviously from uh, some RAM uh, on a lot of cards, a lot of boards, there's always a few of these memory ICs. The reason why I just keep them separate is, as you can see, it's a nice uniform um, batch of IC chips. And I just like to keep these separate to anything else because, yeah, it'll just be interesting to know the gold recovery one day from these. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's that's the only reason. Otherwise, for some people, they just throw all their ICs into one batch. But I just like to keep these separate. Um, here I just put anything with the copper top BGAs. Uh, things from slot CPUs and uh, wherever else they come from these are actually uh, really good for gold recovery they can be um, pretty awesome actually uh, almost as good as a, a decent ceramic cpu uh, things like these i'm not really sure of the gold recovery like this one uh, come from an xbox 360 um, but yeah i don't take off many of these i generally prefer to leave them on the boards but obviously, um, you know, I keep them if I do get them. The other thing I've got are the high-grade BGAs. So these are just BGAs, again, off, off RAM sticks. So you get little ones from RAM sticks or uh, larger ones, Broadcom, whatever. Uh, just BGAs without the, uh, the gold corners and like... Uh, gold corner bga has got the the plastic on the or you know sticking out and uh these bgas don't have the plastic sticking out so i just keep these separate i grade these a little bit higher than them but not necessarily um it really depends on the manufacturer here i just put uh oddball um ceramic stuff that uh i might get a board where i uh i you know it might be a removable ic with uh gold ceramic on it and uh it could be uh white ceramics all oddballs that's just a very slow tub but in case if i ever pluck one i've just got somewhere to throw it uh this this one here that's just for flat packs so legs on four sides i keep these separate flat packs can be good because there can be all kinds of ones there can be uh um, kind of like CPUs um, and video chips so sometimes these can be really high grade um, <coughs> so <clears throat> there's an Intel i960 so it's not like a CPU uh, the, the regular CPU that you pull in and pull out uh, the summer i960s the higher quality ones have got the a big gold cap 
um, but these ones just on board uh, so I put these in with uh, uh, flat packs legs four sides and obviously uh, gold fingers as I cut them off and one for just basic uh, IC chips and there you go so <laughs> that's my rundown of uh, um, most of the things that I keep and yeah all right well so I've got these all these cards and pretty much every card is different now so whilst we've got the gold fingers that we we really want um, technically even if though it's got gold fingers it, it won't go as a, a slot card or PCI card or you know a gold finger card even though it is a card with gold fingers technically it's not really um, you know a slot card as I would call them or buy them um, so in this case um, it's mostly blank yeah okay so what I do here is I want to bring this to mid-grade board because it already is a mid-grade board or a peripheral board if you like in uh, in the States uh, so then there's no point in leaving these fingers on I want the value of these fingers so you know there's no rule set form how to do it but usually you might be able to see there's slight perforations running just above the gold fingers you know and that just sort of makes it a, a good place to uh, break it off so I just use me regular and just pretty straightforward I don't you know like I said there's no real set science everyone's got their own ideas so there we go we've got our gold fingers ready to go you know if there was too much of the uh, the the board I would uh, trim them off especially if they've got little solder dots just above the the gold fingers I want to get them off um, like this one is just one just so not to contaminate um, the mix so now uh, we've got a mid-grade board, but even though it's mid-grade, I still consider this a, a little bit higher than mid-grade because there's no rubbish on it, and it's got a, quite a lot of chips. In fact, if I cut this chip off, uh, this side off, it would almost be like a, you know, a, a, a telecom grade board or um, certainly a higher grade board that we don't have a grading for here in Australia. So what I want to do now is I just want to pinch a couple of these IC chips just to bring it down to the level of a mid-grade board um, just to get a little bit of extra value for me right and you know I try not to make it overly obvious but uh, there we go any crumbles I also take so there we go, we've got a really oddball white ceramic IC. Um, this one here is different too. And yeah, just a regular one. Even if it's broken, that's fine. I just throw them into ICs. And so now, as you can see, it's still a, a, a perfectly fine mid-grade board. I've just got a little bit extra value from it. Um, and that one's gone. So here's, here's another one, totally different variation. So again, so this this uh, section of this scrap marathon video is obviously uh, all about um, just reconfirming to uh, scrappers that already know and uh, are doing this, and but mostly obviously for for new guys that are coming along. There's always new people coming into the game and they want to know, you know, how I depopulate. So I'm not totally depopulating. So that's a, it's a, it's, that's another video. <laughs> um, that's where I, I, I would take everything off. But um, in these cases, it's just not worth it. I'm getting the best value out of it. I'm getting the gold fingers. I've got this oddball white ceramic IC chip. Okay. And it's still a good board. So now I just want to pinch one of... Uh, each of these small ones okay now these flat capacitors not sure if they're tantalum or not they're a, they're a little bit different I don't bother with them I'll leave them on um, and uh, yeah anything else like resistors uh, there's no use for me so there we go um, again 
we want our fingies broken in two okay so I've got my gold fingers bonus now um, now you see all these ICs and you see this yellow IC well um, if you look at the coding it's RP1 as opposed to U13, U14 so these are ICs these this is a resistor network so I don't go for these because uh, at best it's only going to be mostly uh, silver recovery and um, so I'd rather leave it on to make it still look like a good board so what I want here is this EEPROM this removable IC and this removable flat pack for a start before I work out uh, I'll just assess how it looks after I've taken off the obvious so EEPROM IC and nice little Motorola flat pack beautiful all right so that's three things we've already got off it and now I look at it and say well okay I don't want to take any more off because um, you know it's starting to go down but still again because it's got no rubbish I'm gonna right next to the yellow one I'll pinch this one IC chip there we go and so now we've still got a mid-grade board or a peripheral board that we can sell and it hasn't lost any value uh, now another one again they're all different so here uh, first get me fingers here the only thing I want to take here is the removable IC chip by the looks of it okay because uh, there's not a lot else on it there's a bit of dead weight copper big capacitors so there's nothing else there that I want even though it's got a nice little all right just because these are different well actually I'm pretty sure that these are resistors to yeah it looks like it RP1 so oh well I'll just leave them leave them on yeah so here we got really almost blank but again doesn't make any difference you, if someone brings this board to me to sell it's going to go as a mid-grade board even though it's got gold fingers so if you take off the gold fingers it's still a mid-grade board but because there's you know no dead weight on it we've got a, a little cluster of ICs here we do have a removable one I want this removable one goes into ICs and that's it so um, yeah so th th this takes quite a bit of time and uh, again it's one of those things that you do uh, in your downtime and um, as things accumulate I try not to let them get too much um, carried away so here again it's all mostly resistors um, these little uh, dip switch things these can be quite good I treat them uh, just like an IC chip if I take them off I just throw them into ICs because they could be really good yeah I'm convinced now that this is a resistor kind of network um, one removable IC okay and in, in a lot of cases uh, these I um, boards with removable ICs don't necessarily have the ball uh, the IC chip in there when you take it out of whatever you're removing it from you know so there's no real way of telling was there an IC chip in there when it was removed or was it so that's why I don't mind taking removable unless you know sometimes I'll get people bring me boards that are there's almost no board uh, no chips on there and I look and they're all got removable IC uh, slots so I know that they've removed them all and if they do that then they, you, you're turning that board into a, a low grade if not no grade board if there's nothing on them uh, then they can't even go as low grade okay so there we go so this one well it doesn't have a lot it's got dead weight so I want to keep this mid grade so but I'll still I'll pinch you know just one in the middle Oop. 
And again, if I sees crack in half, doesn't matter. There we go. Like this is a quite a high grade board, but it's just really hard to put every board into a, a, a good category because, you know, some of them really vary. So for me, rather than umming and ahhing whether it should go in here or there, I make certain and I just turn it into exactly what I think. Whenever I get removable uh, EPROMs, I always take off the sticker to save me the trouble later on because uh, when I go to sort them out, I want to know which ones are, are, are gold and which ones are silver. So this one looks silvery. Just so I can uh, value them like that. But I, I enjoy doing this, especially like today, right now, it's it's really nice and sunny, but um, uh, I'm going to spend uh, most of today just here in the workshop, uh, because it's the first time I've actually been able to step foot in here for quite a while. Um, it's a good feeling, and... Uh, I like this workbench because it's uh, nice and uh, tall, so it, it suits me perfectly. Okay, so um, we've got a little bit of time left on the on this battery, so we'll just take random boards, and I'll just explain to you my level of thinking um, uh, when it comes to uh, partial depopulation. So this one, okay, we've got a, you know, a kind of telecomish board, but I don't sell any boards as telecom grade boards. If they are telecom, I bring them down to server grade. There's really not much difference, but I prefer to get that little bit extra gold recovery value for myself and bring them down to a serve. So some boards, if even if I buy them as telecom grade, I'll sell them as um, as a server grade so lower grade but always make sure that i can uh, get some value if i can't get any value off it that means it's really on the edge of whether it's a server grade or a telecom so usually i'll buy them as server grade boards but sometimes i pay telecom grade and yeah but because i don't sell telecom grade boards um my buyer doesn't really have a provision for that and it gets too technical so yeah so here we've got gold band crystal oscillators right there's one two three four so that's the first thing i look at because they're high value and they don't reduce the weight and they don't really they're not really noticeable that you've taken them off so i should have got my bigger screwdriver but basically just push a flat screw right up against them and there we go we've got the ceramic intact so always make sure that the ceramic is intact so um Otherwise, I'll go back in and I'll dap my finger and get the little bit of ceramic because you'll see the gold on the ceramic. So another one. Yeah, I just got to go and get a bigger screwdriver. I'll see if I can get these ones, but you need uh, the long size one just to get a little bit of extra leverage. So that's, that's two, three, one more here. Yeah, it just makes it so much harder when you've got a small one. Okay, so you can't notice I've taken off those. It doesn't really reduce much uh, or any value. And so I just look around and like I notice all these black tantalum capacitors and yellow ones in between. So what I'll do is I don't want to remove them all because, you know, it, it just starts to look like a real poorly depopulated board. Uh, battery went flat <laughs> okay so where was I so yeah all I want to do here is just just pinch a couple of tantalum capacitors not to make it overly obvious that uh, you know it's been partially depopulated okay black tanties okay might pinch 
a couple of yellow ones around the edges where usually I go for where there's clusters um, but that should do and then just out of um, for the sake of it I might pinch a couple of MLCC's just because it's really not noticeable and it's not really taking much value off just a few MLCC's just for uh, for the sake of it and at the back here we've got tiny little uh, um, tantalum capacitors I'm not going to worry about but because it's not going to be noticeable here's one of those memory uh, IC chips so like the ones I like to keep uniform so because it's on the back here it's not going to be noticeable or make any effect I just slice slice the uh, one side off and then I just uh, jiggle it around and there we go one little memory IC you know it all adds up and so the rest of this I can still you know obviously um, Technically, it's still high grade, uh, higher than um, server board. It's still, you know, very much close to a, 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 you know, it's a telecom board. So in this case, um, what I might do, I don't like to depopulate on steel surfaces because it just makes it a little bit harder and uncomfortable so that's better and the reason why I like to depopulate boards on on a rug uh, even though there's a rug underneath the steel plate I've got these uh, nice carpet tiles that I picked up when I was doing a pickup they were throwing a whole bunch out so I thought I you know I asked them can I grab a few and yeah you want to grab a few mate fill up the van if you want you know they were replacing it was a school so i just grabbed about 10 of them um but yeah the re reason why i like the carpet is because underneath like little sharp pointy bits of silver solder and stuff you know and so that pointiness gets onto the board on a hard surface they the board slides around so i like a, a bit of grip especially when i'm you know trying to remove a few things and all I want here uh, to just uh, bring it down to server grade from telecom a little bit more and just get a bit more satisfaction that I've got some value out of it is uh, just this gold corner BGA on the side here right so I'm not going to touch any of these under the heat sinks I'll leave them even though they would be good quality ones I don't want to depopulate the board and bring it down to a mid-grade board but in this case I can get away with it so there we go and just popped off a little Broadcom gold corner BGA okay and so it's still perfectly fine okay so grab something else same kind of deal um yeah this one's nice it's got a uh, a little ram type stick it's not really ram it's i don't know what it is but and okay so i'm going to look around so i noticed that there's one gold band crystal oscillator got my bigger screwdriver this time just push up against it <laughs> and just from right to left or just one click to the right and we've got our little gold band crystal oscillator that's all we want that's good oh if i see here another two so i, I always take my gold band crystal oscillators as i said it, it doesn't uh, really devalue the board <laughs> and uh, just gives me some more value so now got them three happy with that I'm not going to touch this BGA because there's not as many BGAs. I want to keep it as a as a server board. So, um, but I will pinch a, a couple of these tantalum capacitors. And uh, for those of you that are wondering, what am I doing with tantalum capacitors? 
it's just a speculation thing. Keep them in case one day tantalum goes once again sky high and they'll really be worth something. Um, there are there is a buyer in the US, but here in Australia, no one really buys them. Um, you know, no business buys them, so a lot harder to sell. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm just speculating on them. And <laughs> if Tantalum did go up really sky high, uh, then it might be worth sending these to America and, uh, you know, posting them. But at the moment, it's just not worth doing that. So, and I also buy Tantalum capacitors for any of those that do depopulate. So here we've got four rows of four Tantalums. I'm going to pinch two from each row. And they just you know, really easily pop off. There we go. Eight tantalum capacitors. That's all I want. I don't want to go uh, depopulate this anymore. And uh, same deal again over this side. I've got the little memory IC chip. Oh, this one snapped in half, but that's fine. And, you know, I'm not sure whether there's much gold recovery in, in all of these, but... There should be. I do see one bonding wire sort of there, but it's just hard to tell whether it's gold or copper. Okay, so nothing else there. Oh. Yeah, that's identical, so I won't show you that. Here's a good example. Well, this, obviously, super telecom grade, okay? There's no no rubbish almost whatsoever apart from a couple of little copper uh little transformer type things there um well this is uh, ultra high grade i'm almost tempted to just keep this um because what i'll do with this is i want to completely depopulate this so i'm not going to sell this board it's just going to the board itself will just go as rubbish in the end but there's just way too much to sell, well, here in Australia anyway, because this would go as a you know high-grade telecom, but uh, as I said, um, I don't sell telecom boards, and it's just too complicated to have a separate sort of grade for it. So when people sell me telecom-grade boards, I'll depopulate it down to a server grade like I do. But as you can see, we've got... A nice set of gold fingers. We've got tantalum capacitors all over it. Um, even got uh, where was it? Yeah, B, uh, gold corner BGA, uh, gold corner um, crystal oscillator. But look at all these BGAs. You got these four big ones in the centre. These ones probably be my favourite gold corner BGAs. These oblong ones. I don't know why, but they're just awesome. Look at that. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23 of these elongated BGAs. So they're spectacular. Then we've got, you know, north-south type bridge BGA, and then four smaller ones. And then uh, the higher grade ones without the plastic on the end. Ha, huh. it's just, you know, even big chunky flat pack. Wow. Case, I'm not going to depopulate this completely. I would not. If I had a few of them, I'd completely depopulate it. We'll see if I've got any more there, and uh, I'll show what I'll do. But in this case, I kind of want to keep it because it's such a pretty board. It um, doesn't have any rubbish. You can see it's virtually flat. Uh, so I want to keep this as part of my, um, you know, the few, few boards that I keep just because I might want to make a... A nice display um, just put them up on the wall like that that's pretty awesome too now go as a, a server grade board because uh, even you know it's a slot card but it's a little bit higher than a, a slot card uh, so obviously I want to take off the battery so what do I do in this case well I'm going to downgrade this and you know lose a bit of value i'm going to turn this into a mid-grade board okay from you know so a third of the value and then obviously we're taking weight off it too but um 
in this case I'm happy to get all the awesome gold recovery bits so we've got our three bits of uh, gold fingers perfect now what do I take off um, so this pulse thing these pulse sort of chunky chips usually they're on top of uh, um, telecom type boards there's only copper coil in there so obviously I don't want to take that um, I do want the uh, gold corner uh, BGA and because it's sort of in the center of two what I might do here is take that and take that and leave we'll see how it looks anyway all right the first point of call in this case I want to take this um, gold corner BGA because it's uh, too high value being on as a mid-grade board so there we go BGA ball grid array little balls that stick onto the surface of the card all right nice gold recovery bonus when we can keep it all intact that's one and you can see that you might be able to see the little balls rolling around here you know um, you know possibly there could be even you know silver on this but I don't bother with that now I want this uh, at least one of these flat packs for now perfect too easy it's a video flat pack it's a rage 3d PCI perfect just goes in all right now we, we're, we're getting there uh, it's still a little bit high for a mid-grade board um, so we've got removable little flat packs there so I'll take them I can just get small enough torques one two there we go two nice little flat packs we can also put it all adds up guys okay so now how's it looking other side nothing <laughs> right so it's still a high high for a mid-grade board there's there's a tiny little bga gold corner so i'll get that nice and so to get these bgas if you've got a, a spare old screwdriver all i do is just file down each side of the tip a little bit just to make it a pointier end and that way you get right into the the bga and able to pop it up um so what else okay so all i'm going to do now i'm going to take this dip switch because they can be pretty good for gold recovery and it's not going to be needed here so i won't go through it now but i just put these because they're predominantly plastic i put these in with just regular ic chips i don't do get a whole lot of them but uh, this one we'll see if we can pop it open just see if there's anything decent inside well i just saw a little tiny little gold ball so i put that in with my gold bits and we'll just out of interest sake get these uh switch bits out they're uh they're classed as ic's to me so they're all got each one has got a little gold ball but you can see inside there's gold plating you might be able to see right good high quality gold recovery throw them into the ic chips and uh as i mentioned you know not not all ic chips have gold those dip switches do pretty much and so you're really uh you know uplifting the value of your ic's overall so what else in this one again i want to bring it to mid-grade so i'm going to take this ic because just because it's a little bit high for for mid-grade i might as well get some little extra value so i'll take a few spare ic's three ic's only small but um and i'll pinch one of these memory ic's as well
one memory IC. Now, I feel better now. That's pretty good. Um, other option, I do notice some nice gold pins here. It's not really going to devalue the board. So if I can, I'll take it, but I don't put too much work into it if it's gonna, it's gonna be difficult because uh, this is more using the air gun. But in this case, they came off perfectly. And so, nice gold pins in there. Let's see if I can give you a little look. Yeah, you can see really high quality gold pins. <coughs> okay, so I put that in for me gold bits and there we go. Oh, I can't believe how long I, I must be talking for battery. Uh, my second battery went flat. <laughs> So yeah, as I mentioned, the uh, long strip of uh, fingers here, and even these ones underneath it, this kind of plastic sticker. So obviously, <laughs> you got to get rid of um, the plastic before you go for gold recovery. You uh, technically, I suppose, so even though. They're not eating away, you're just trying to remove them from the board, but there we go. So, yeah, uh, as I said, I, I don't want to bring this board down any lower to what it is. It's just a server grade board. I don't want to bring it down to mid grade. It would be losing uh, way too much on this because um, there's just not enough from what I can see on it for what I, I want anyway. The, the refiners, well, that's a different story. They they extract every bit of metal out of it, especially the gold, using their own, their, you know, industrial processes. Shred up everything, the whole board. So they don't, they don't miss the thing. But they're not getting my gold fingers because the gold fingers don't make this board any more than what it already is uh, same as like PC motherboards some older PC motherboards do have a set of gold fingers you might as well take them because you're not going to get any more it's still a PC motherboard you know so this is the same kind of case We want all those gold fingers perfect. And they're pretty good quality gold fingers. Now, we don't want to remove any chips because there's just not enough here. Um, nice big BGA there, little one there, north, south. In this case, there's um, slightly higher tantalums and lower ones. So I, I always go for the higher ones because uh, well they're bigger they, they weigh more they've actually got possibly can have a little bit more tantalum in there anyway but so if I pick out the, the high ones in, in between it's still you can still see that there's tantalums everywhere you're not really um, it still looks like a server grade board just less less tantalums Okay, so a couple more hidden, um, and then when there's clusters, like two together, I'll take take one there and uh, take that one. What else? Uh, take one there, one there, and one here. Okay, so we've got ourselves a decent batch of yellow tantalums perfect and you can see the board it's still got visible tantalum capacitors doesn't really look depopulated we haven't yet really taken anything off apart from these gold fingers I might just pinch the little flat pack in its socket there and this one here is it's yeah that's fine there we go 
still got a server grade board. Just check the back, nothing on the back. Bang, and that was a lot. Gold fingers, tantalum capacitors, couple little flat packs, perfect. So here's a card that would have been from like a, uh, some kind of drive, like a, a tape drive or something. Um, now this one's a really, you know, good grade board. It's, it's as it is, it's a telecom grade board. So we want to reduce it down to, um, you know, at least, you know, down to server grade. I don't want to bring it down to mid grade. And so what I'll do, uh, where do I go? There's no gold band crystals. So I might just take off this biggest BGA and see how it looks. Nice. It's an IBM. Okay. So it still looks okay. Still got a BGA there, got a nice chunky flat pack there. And on this side, another BGA there, another flat pack. And it's pretty much loaded. So this can still go as a server grade board. Definitely. It's almost telecom. And we managed to pinch a good BGA out of it. Now here, uh, we're going to bring this down to mid-grade board. Now, we don't want to touch this main BGA here, simply because it's smack bang in the center. It would be too obvious that it's depopulated, but uh, we can sort of work around it, I suppose, because there's not a great deal here. So I just removed this flat pack, IC, and another IC here, I think. Right. Don't have to be, you know, I get every... You know, as much as you can every time. Sometimes we want to leave some meat on the bone for the buyer. It's still probably... I'm going to leave this for the buyer. It does have some dead weight here. So it'll be a good balance. Just to be for you. Now here we've got a, a low grade board. Probably out of a, um, a DVD or something. Nothing on the back. Definitely low grade board, um, very low value, but obviously, what am I doing with it in the depopulation station? Well, look at all the IC chips, and it's only a low grade board. Technically, this should go as a, as a mid-grade board, but it's a brown board. It's not going to go. It does have junky weight, base metal weight. So in this case, this one is a little bit more unusual. It's definitely from like a DVD player. Not, or a, a VCR or something like that. Um, so it's only a, a low grade board, so be crazy to leave these IC chips because they're not going to pay any more. So, and believe me, on a lot of these low grade boards, these IC chips can be better than anything ICs from anywhere else. Sometimes they pop open and you see the gold inside. And you think, wow, wasn't expecting that. Because <laughs> it's low grade, it doesn't have to have any IC chips. This one's going to be a bit harder. So well worth picking them off, I reckon. Considering the price of these low grade boards. Perfect. Well, I get almost 10. Okay. If you want to be even pickier, you can even get a few of them. A couple of little ones. Still adds to the weight. And then, okay. Um, now, here's the next thing. Okay. Remember, we're, we're trying to balance, you know, what we, we get for them when we sell them compared to, you know, the, the little things that we can take off to really increase our value. So anyway, what we've got here now is just what it actually is. Just a low grade board. It's based on base metal recovery. So they're going to get their steel, they'll get, they'll get the aluminium, they'll get the copper and 
but we got the main thing we wanted and that was all those uh, IC chips so here again a, a nice high grade board this um, too high grade for what we're going to sell it for uh, I want to bring this down to mid grade board so bring it right down gold band crystal there a little one there a little one there a bigger one there so four gold band crystal oscillators and we want all of them and yeah, as I said sometimes they, they crack this little one cracked open so you, there's no more ceramic there it's almost not even worth keeping but it does have that little bit of gold band around the edge okay and see that little silver there that's from the the um you know obviously it's a crystal oscillator and so that is actually silver and uh where are we <laughs> okay so you can see the ceramic and the gold inside there that's stuck on so i'll get rid of this so in this case i do want that little silver thing because gold band crystal oscillators are obviously all about gold and silver and there's a little bit of little gold dot on that thing so when they crush open that's when you want to you you want to treat them like you do when you crush uh mlccs you want to put the whole thing in the crumble and all so i just want to get this ceramic that's stuck to the board okay because that's where the gold is and okay you see the little fleck of gold bit of gold that's what we we're after okay a couple more so this one come off nice and clean you can see the ceramic intact the four mounting points and one more here intact as well perfect all right now let's bring this down to mid-grade usually when there's a tantalum capacitor on what's going to be a mid-grade i'll take that but one black tantalum capacitor right because it's only a mid-grade board now we want to leave some meat on the bone all right so we don't want to take both of these really nice bgas but i'm going to take the biggest one Okay, all right. Now we've got the little memory BGAs, right? And there's another one there, bigger one. So, because it's only a mid grade, add weight on this. So, what I'll probably do is I'll just take one from each side there, take our little high grade BGAs, and now I'll leave the rest. I would have taken a couple of more, but I just noticed all this dead weight. I'm trying to balance it out to give um to give the buyer value as well you know it's not all about trying to pick off everything i can um it's got to be fair both ways all right so now this well as you can see you got the your your chips underneath these heat sinks but the heat sinks themselves are dead weight we've got a lot of dead weight here hey crazy dead weight so to get server grade we've got to be pretty happy we don't want to take off any chips off this right it just wouldn't be fair but so all we want in this case that i can see one two three four five gold corner crystal oscillators uh, for someone that really likes their crystal oscillators this is a good board <laughs> take three four Five. Look at that. Five gold band crystal oscillators. One board. How sweet was that? And there we go. So we haven't really done, you know, removed any real value apart from them. And probably the only thing i will do is look at these gold pins i'm not going to be able to get all of it but i, I want some of it 
because uh, yeah, nice clean, full plate of gold, high quality. Pinch a little bit of that, and there we go. Still, you know, it's technically probably, you know, I should be claiming server grade board. Don't forget. Under all these heat sinks are BGAs, two giant BGAs under these heat sinks, um, and it's technically a telecom board because it's telecommunications. But because I, you know, I don't really have an agreement with my buyer for him to buy uh, telecom, and so even though I buy telecom off people that sell me boards, I'm happy to just get a little bit of weight and. Okay, so here, we've just got a backplane board. It's going to have a BGA under there. It's got uh, all these black tantalum capacitors, and you can see these capacitors don't have the positive symbol, but the, the code is a C, so um, they have to be capacitors and not diodes, otherwise the code would be a D. And uh, so they are tantalum capacitors. And so I'm going to keep leave this as a, a mid-grade board, even though the fingers aren't that spectacular, I'll take the fingers. Obviously, it'll be too high. It's not going to go really as a slot card. Um, it took off a big chunk. All right. So we've got our gold fingers. And now, all we want to do, because it's just a mid-grade board, we might as well take off tantalum capacitors and just the ones that I can see that they're coded C and they're, they're from one pretty average board we've got gold fingers Got a nice stack of little black tantalum capacitors. And the only other thing is I might as well pinch a couple of MLCCs. Because again, um, they're worth more than mid-grade value. All right, so they still got a BGA. They've got all the ICs inside there. All the other um, recovery. Got some nice gold pins there I'll even leave on. There we go. That was fair. So yeah, this is all about just showing you guys, uh, newer guys, you know, what we're picking off boards. I often get asked, you know, what do you take off boards or what do you depopulate? Um, and, you know, you've got options there where if you don't have a, a buyer, there's a lot of people around the world that, uh, you know, scrap e-waste, but they don't have a buyer for boards. And so... <laughs> they're not doing just what I'm doing right now. Um, they're actually taking everything of value they can. Like in this board, um, you know, technically I could probably throw this. This is just like a motherboard, really. Um, it doesn't have any of the junk that a, a motherboard would have. Like here's a motherboard. All this junk here, that's all dead weight. You know, the steel around this is dead weight. Transformers. Um, so this goes as a motherboard because it doesn't have all that dead weight. Um, and yeah, you know, BGA underneath here even. Uh, it, it's actually a good board. I can't remember what it's from. Um, but it's actually a really good board. It uh, would have been off a copier or something. And so, yeah, so I'm, I'm showing you guys, but a lot of guys have to depopulate everything. And there's really, really nice gold pins that... You know, and so uh, it just depends on where you, you, you're at in the world. So, again, I'm sure you've worked out by now, my favourite, gold band crystal oscillators. Right, good ones, these ones. Quite chunky. Nice thickness to them. Um, now, so I want to keep this as a motherboard. The only thing I did notice is these pins are probably a little bit too good for for me to leave on so see see if they will come out okay yeah 
So in this case, these should pull out. No. Yeah. So you can see all this, uh, you know, steel or whatever it is, templated brass. But you can see the tips are actually nice gold-plated pins. So I'll just take this whole thing like that, clean that up another day. And there we go. I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to remove any of these BGAs. Even though it's got a nice BGA on the back, that's just a bonus for the buyer. I will take these two MLCCs. Um, but the rest, I'm happy to sell this as a, as a motherboard. And there we have it. So, oh yeah, we've already done one of these. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if anyone's going to, you know, any of my uh, long-term subscribers are going to get much out of this part of the video. Um, but, you know, it might just refresh some of your things. Now, here again, this is close to a telecom-grade board. It does have a, a, a couple of slots missing where there would have been... Um, there could have been uh, more, but, uh, yeah. yeah. This one is a little bit hard because, well... It's not going to be telecom anyway for me it'll be server but because yeah it's pretty much all ic chips so i would buy this you know either definitely as server grade but if people brought this to me i would probably even pay telecom grade so all i'm going to do here i'm not even going to remove this uh, uh eprom because it's i can only see silver i can't see gold um so i do want to remove this NEC, the ceramic removable IC. So this one's plastic, they're both NEC, but this one's ceramic. So the ceramic one's got more chance it's going to have good gold in there. It's also got a lot more weight. So as an IC, good value. The only other thing I'm really going to take here to bring it down to uh, server grade is all these little chips here that are removable. And these are all memory. It's like kind of like RAM, right? And so, these ones will be pretty pretty good. Hopefully, they've got gold. If they do have gold, they'll be really good gold on these ones. But it's always hit and miss with IC chips. So, nice stack of ICs. Now, I'll probably leave this row there, as well as this row and everything else to keep it as as a um, server grade board but there are a couple of removable ones here that are ceramic as well skinny ones so these two I can get away with and probably the only thing is all these mounted ICs another NEC ceramic we'll see if we can pop off the uh, ceramic and see whether it's yeah okay so in this case, can you see in, in there? It's this one's you know definitely gold in there, you know, and so quite a lot of gold. So when these ceramics you see ceramic ICs and you can pop off that top. Uh, here's another one there. Ceramic, they stand out. You can tell the difference between plastic and ceramic. But yeah, they're not always like I showed you one previously, didn't have any gold, so I just left it on. But these ones, these are these are like ceramic CPUs, just about, you know. So you've got to take them. Well, I, I do anyway. Um, and they're kind of all right. That's that, that's awesome, you know. And if you are building up a collection of IC chips, you want to try and keep the ceramic ICs separate to the plastic ICs because they're a different process altogether anyway. You know, these you don't burn like these plastic ones pyrolysis where you want to you know virtually burn away the plastic and turn it into a fine ash whereas ceramics are processed differently like ceramic cpu um but yeah you can see that gold so there's one more that i saw that one there so by if you're not selling like uh if you're not selling these ICs and you just got to use it for your own gold recovery then it's okay to remove this top but if you're selling them try and keep them intact because you're getting more weight but once you pop that top they should this 
one's going to be a bit harder. There we go. You just got to remove them, sort of pry it away from the legs that are holding it in. And there you go. All right? Nice. It's all gold within there, so good stuff. All right. So I had my bit of uh, fun with those. So there's no more that I can see uh, ceramics. No, they're all plastic. Even though, you know, there's nothing to say that the plastic ones uh, aren't um, good for gold recovery, but you just can't get into them that easily. It's, it's just when you go to process them. Yeah, I saw a little bit of gold in there too. But this is one for the buyer, server grade. Thank you very much. All right, so yeah, I think you know you've pretty much got the hang of everything for all you newbies. You've uh, pretty much got the picture now, kind of what I'm doing. Uh, video is really not about. Uh, I want to go and start scrapping out those servers, but I, I need to finish off all the boards in here, clean all this up. I'm just happy that I've now finally got my depopulation station so you know when i when i scrap like uh, a few things i bring it straight in i start depopulating you know clean them up put them out to sell one day when i just want to chill out i might have a cup of coffee and uh start sorting out like start sorting out all the uh i like to separate the gold the yellow tantalums to the black tantalums and then the uh the uh the metallic tantalums and uh, that kind of thing I, I like to sort them out uh, same as uh the crystals and the crystal oscillators um, sort them into categories take out all the ones that have got gold bases put them separate stuff like that and put it all into the the categories that uh, they generally go into but uh yeah so i think it's enough for the video um i'll just continue on here again this is this is very much a telecom board but um so i'm just sort of trying to work out what to remove here um, it might just simply be three of these flat packs, some of these little ICs here, and I might even take some of these flat packs off the back here, and um, yeah, still get server grade. All right, well, hope that was uh, um, of some use. Anyone's got any questions about depopulating, you know, I'll, I'll try and you know spot your uh, questions in the comments section. Um, and yeah, always happy to try and answer as many questions as I can. I just get a lot of replies, uh, comments on the videos. It's really hard to keep up with answering everything, especially if um, the answers are done 10 or 50 times over in the videos that I make. Uh, for, for people that are just sort of, they've only watched a few of my videos, you know, maybe, you know, just, just have a search on, on my videos and all the different subjects. I do cover just about everything I can think of as far as scrapping anyways. But we're going to go into these next. And I want to finish off these five servers, get them off this area. And uh, I've got to get those ram sticks out to, uh, to get to my buyer. So uh, let's go for that. Okay, well, it started to rain and it's uh, freezing. <laughs> Here we go. How's that, hey? Isn't that spectacular? <laughs> a lot of you probably seen the uh, the video when I actually picked them up and I started scrapping a, a couple out. Um, yeah, it's a shame that I mean, even right from the first week that I got them, I went straight to my buyer, and yeah, he just said that they were just a little bit out of date, and then. Because so many people uh, said to me, you know, in the comments section, oh, you know, you could sell them. Well, no, they're wrong. Not in this country. I tried. Sure, I might have sold them if I put them on eBay, but just too complicated because we have fan section. Because, um,. It's very limited to who I could sell it to anyway because they'd have to come and pick it up so it's only within the state and that just makes it just so much harder uh,
because it's uh, it's too heavy to ship by post so the only way to ship it is by courier and I didn't want to go through all that I check out that card um, you know pretty awesome in itself awesome awesome gold fingers there a couple of BGAs a couple of gold band crystals tanties MLCCs um, yeah spectacular but look, at the end of the day, I'm still getting good money for them because I can sell the RAM if, if the RAM is 8 gigabyte sticks. And so I'm not complaining. The guys that I picked these all up from, like I got 10 of these, um, they weren't silly either. They uh, they had a, a lot of stuff there, and they kept some stuff as well. They knew what they wanted to keep and what was uh, worth it for them. These are just so out of date, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and, yeah, there'll be people uh, in the comments section once again, and they'll say, oh, I could have used them. Oh, I'm sure you could have, but... <laughs> um, I tried my best, and look at that. They're just uh, look at the size of that MLCC. Pretty, pretty incredible uh, cards and stuff in this thing. It's just, uh, and the size of the motherboard too. It's just unbelievable. And don't forget, there's four CPUs. Uh, so I, I even tried to sell the CPUs I couldn't sell the CPUs the only thing I've sold is this RAM and check this out 8 RAM modules for those that haven't seen uh, this model scrapped out in the previous video wait for this right so that's a RAM module and uh, just got to refresh myself on how to open check that out eight ram sticks now this is the question whether i make money out of this one or or it all goes to scrap it's either uh, four gig ram sticks or eight gig ram sticks if we've got eight gigs i make pretty good money aha look at that 8 gigabyte perfect that's exactly what I wanted made to order fantastic I've sent uh, a batch of uh, 8 gigabyte RAM sticks to America I sent one to I think it was Belgium I've sent one to Queensland and um, Then one of my buyers here bought the rest that I had and now he wants quite a lot more so I won't be shipping any more overseas both of them took almost oh, I don't know three months nearly yep but they're all eight gig ram sticks that's eight out of eight just one module right so check that out eight times eight is what uh 66 wow uh, or 64 <laughs> <coughs> so that's just just unbelievable i just can't get my head around it and how much this system would have cost you know eight eight gig ram sticks alone and these they would have bought these when eight gig ram sticks were uh were virtually just come out because obviously this system's been used and thrown out i know it's a shame 
But what do you do? Um, I can't keep them. I've got, I've already done, scrapped out five. There's another four there to scrap out. So ten altogether. Um, and it's, this is, uh, you know, my business is recycling e-waste. And, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of sound like I'm trying to make excuses for scrapping it out, but it's only because I'm re responding mostly to uh, all the, the sooks out there that are saying, oh, I could have used that, or you could have sold that for so much more. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> totally wrong, unfortunately. Um, and I just can't remember how I did it, but my hands are freezing. Now it's going to take me a while, but I just want to get this card out just to show you and uh, the rest. So I can't even sell these cards. No one wants them. They just want the RAM. So. Oh, hands are frozen. There you go. I've got to get this plastic out. There. Right. And so now, I think that's how I sold them before. I might have to... So that's the slot card. Yeah, I've got to still take them off this steel bracket. Um... But there you go, huge slot card. Get good money for these just as scrap. They're not worth trying to depopulate anything or even taking off these fingers. Get much better money just as it is. Oh, well, I'll show you. As you can see, the BGA, it's just a silicon top BGA. So um, definitely not worth taking off. All right. I've got a little box for them ready to go. Once I do five of them, you know, I'm going to have, uh, what, uh, 30, uh, 40 or so of, of these um, modules alone. Hey, look at this. Oh, so these ones are a little bit different. SD RAM. Got the... Uh, Heat shields. Okay. So what do we got here? Well, that's... Hang on. Just got to get it close to my eyes. Yeah. So they are 8 gigabytes. And... Um, pretty cool. So... Yep. So they should be the same thing even though they're uh, in the heat shield as the other ones. Um, but just just amazing. Uh, most amazing server I've ever scrapped out. I won't forget these ones in a hurry. I've got... This is the second video with them on. So I'll just put these in my box unbelievable you know I scrap out a PC and I get an 8 gig RAM stick and I get excited but PC RAM, uh, RAM is totally different to server RAM yep 8 gig Hynix RAMs these ones the other ones was a Samsung um, so this is all I, I want and uh, when I go and see my buyer, I'll I'll take them all in, and hopefully there's more eight gig sticks in the uh, other four servers left over. It should be good, but there are some like in the last batch of five that I did, there were four gig ones, and I just couldn't sell them. Yeah, more SD RAM. Yep, 
hay kicks ainda the first section of this video when I was in the garage uh, um, I, I looked at the videos uh, all the clips that I made and there was a lot of glitches uh, so I started to um, edit this video and, and create the video and it just took me uh, a real long time to edit the first section of the video that you're seeing now uh, you saw before uh, this scrap um, yeah and as I said there were so many glitches it was really almost impossible to edit out all the glitches so you'll probably notice a lot of uh, gaps oh hands are freezing yeah a lot of gaps in the video where I've sort of had to uh, skip forward and um, just try and edit out the little the little glitches because they kind of freeze the video up uh, I don't know something was wrong with the camera um, I've never had that problem with me, all the older versions of GoPro it's just this the latest GoPro just doesn't seem to be right um, oh. hands feel like they get a fall off the fingers it's just so cold at the moment and you can probably hear the rain in the background yep these ones I prefer these ones they just seem easy to sell um, but I think my buyer will buy all of them anyway but if not I'll find a buyer How's that? Unbelievable, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, we've got uh, the winds coming in from Antarctica. And, uh, yeah, it's snapping cold. I mean, I, I enjoy the cold. But when it's this cold, I, I enjoy it a lot more sitting inside in the with the heater on. Oh. How's that? Unbelievable, isn't it? It's Ram Central here. One more. So yeah, if the uh, I'm not sure once this video is complete, I'll have a look and see if it um, if there's any glitches that cut the video out. If so, this might be the start of the scrap marathon video. So uh, once again, welcome to uh, part five of this scrap marathon. <laughs> because uh, uh, hopefully it all works all right <laughs> 80 uh at 60 uh 66 ram sticks unbelievable isn't it well i'm amazed anyway <laughs> Okey-dokey. So, I might try and get out these... These uh, CPUs. So they're the heat sinks, so awesome. It's always a bonus when 
they're uh, copper aluminium radiators I get three times more or well at least twice as much can't remember I haven't sold these for a while but I've got a I'll have a bin full of these now I've got to go and do a scrapyard run fantastic it's obviously they would have been better if they were solid copper heat sinks but still now CPUs check out these babies how big are they hey unbelievable unbelievable so they're the uh, let me have a look yeah they these ones are the SLBRF they look impressive the new style of the uh, rectangular center so SLBRF they don't sell for much these sell for um, singly like 10 bucks each but um, I noticed like on eBay um, there's guys selling four of them so from one unit for 25 bucks so it's just not worth and they still have to sell them they're just listed so it's just not you know it just goes to show uh, the age and uh, and it's all about service a lot of service stuff um, just doesn't sell just doesn't have any re resale value um, because there's so many around so it's a shame but that's just how it goes uh, you know so if I didn't mention the price the fact that you can buy four for 25 bucks you know no doubt I would have had guys saying oh those CPUs you know you'd get a fortune for them and um, no uh, been there done that certainly tried and over the years I've just been you know I used to pull things out and think oh gosh I'm gonna make a fortune here and no it's 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 a funny business this e-waste and uh, IT equipment you know you've got to have the right things otherwise forget it now we've got to get this motherboard out and look at the size of it it's spectacularly huge there's not a lot on this motherboard for me to partially depopulate you know but that's okay because geez you know um, server prices has gone up a little bit server boards so I'll get my fair whack for each board So in the end, I'll still get something like 300 bucks um, after selling the RAM and then the rest in scrap value. So, you know, I'm really not going to sell it for any more than that. And like I said, I'm only limited to uh, selling in this state. People And at the moment, people can't even come and pick it up because we're in lockdown. But even so, um, it's it's impossible, impossible to find a buyer. You know, if I'm lucky, in one year I might sell one, um, but then I've got to hang on to, you know, hang on to five of them, or even when I first got them, hang on to ten of them, for to sell one in one year. Um, I need the room better off to move on I mean this is the e-waste recycling game you know we know what to what we can sell obviously we're going to try and maximize our value um, but unless I had a warehouse and you know like seventy eighty thousand dollars a year to uh, rent one out 
it's not worth it. So, but enough of that. I don't really have to explain myself. Um, it's just that people don't um, don't you know get this sort of stuff like I do. And so they, they kind of uh, don't understand how it all happens. Um, but, you know, it's, some, it's almost as if, you know, people must believe that the people that are, you know, this is obviously high-end stuff. And so the people that are giving me this stuff, they're dealing in high-end stuff. Surely they're not that silly, you know. They know what they're giving, throwing out as, as e-waste, as rubbish. They're, they're not silly, they're, you know, IT technicians that are, yeah, dealing in, in the, you know, highest end gear. Got to take off this steel bracket. Um, they're actually, the, the gold fingers are actually beautifully, beautiful and orange. Maybe I should have looked at the previous video to see how I got this motherboard out. Because I can't for the life of me remember. There's got to be <laughs> something. So I've almost finished depopulating what I wanted to depopulate, so it's another job out the way. Gotcha. Okay. Well, it's on a steel plate. Oh. So, obviously, I've got to get it off this steel plate. Because that's super heavy. Um. Okay. So I've got to get all these um, plastic brackets off. Just yeah, I can't sell them with these plastic brackets, and these are mounted to the get a bit of. Uh, cast aluminium there Okay, these clips can stay on, I think.
That's a heavy piece of steel, clean steel. There we have it, one massive server uh, motherboard and um, well there's not a lot for me unfortunately, um, the only things that look pretty awesome are the little MLCCs in there so I might pick some of them out, um, out of these and maybe a couple of MLCCs around the air, uh, outskirts but there's um, yeah, not a lot, you know, so, you know, we've got BGAs under these heat sinks and a couple of smaller ones there, another one there, but, um, there's no gold band crystal oscillators, uh, so there's really, uh, nothing for me to partially depopulate, and on this side, once again, nothing, they're just all, uh, they look like, um, yeah, they're tanties, but I won't bother with them. Um, but a really nice heavy motherboard so not every board or motherboard uh, you know well especially motherboards you can get anything and as I mentioned at the start of the video if, if that part's still in the video is that um, we don't really depopulate even partially depopulate actual motherboards so PC motherboard server motherboard laptop motherboard only thing we really do is take off the excess rubbish, the battery, and you know if you you know you might just get away with picking off a couple of MLCCs or tantalums, but we don't generally touch these kind because as you can see, there's really nothing. All this side, there's really nothing. This steel is still dead weight, so for the price we're getting, you know, to remove even just one chip would not be fair and or even acceptable to a a board buyer you just got to leave these as they are and be happy with the fact that they weigh they weigh a ton <laughs> and uh, you get good money as it is so that that's spectacular like there's probably you know 25 bucks worth um, just a scrap there on that board so what more do you want so now All the um, the power supplies have been removed on this one. Um, the the hard drives were removed. They were just little hard drives. Got a card here. Back plane board. And so a reasonably easy scrap initially. Uh, once you get the hang of it the only thing that will take time is processing getting all those slot cards the modules uh, cleaned up um. gotcha just a little control board a couple of uh, black tantalums we can take off and yeah, might just get away with a mid-grade board. All right, well. Clean up a little bit of the plastic from this because um, I want these units to go as clean, clean uh, pressing steel to get out 23 cents a kilo. Little battery here. A little battery and yeah so they're just hot swap um, fans with no fans in them or oh, sorry they're for the hard drives but when I picked these up he actually removed the hard drives as as I was taking them away 
that was the only thing of interest to them. All right, well, all that's left to do is just clean up these, uh, just to uh, get some clean um, cast, oops, cast aluminium here. It's not much value, but still a little bit of cast aluminium. Just little fiddly things to do, but worth it. Why not, rather than just, you know, instead of getting 23 cents a kilo as clean pressing, get a dollar a kilo as cast. Yeah. All right. Okay, let me just move this away and we'll just have a little quick rundown of what we got. Okay, so we got these ram modules got eight of these that uh they're going to go as uh, i'm going to um, put these in as a, a slot card type of thing so get good money for these as they are just got to clean them up off the steel um yeah got uh, the four cpus with the four copper aluminium heat sinks although i can't find one cpu it's fell over somewhere and got five gold finger cards nice uh, most of these will just go well they'll all probably just go as slot cards because um, a lot of them only have a small set of gold fingers uh, this one here i'll work out what to do because um, i've got to clean off all the steel off it um, and then it's only not really going to be a slot card, so I'll probably just take off the gold fingers and put it into low grade. I don't know, you know just a little couple of little mid grade boards and the the money shot is all these ram sticks. So, what did I say? Eight times eight <laughs> um, is uh, 64 ram sticks, something like that. So a mixture of SD RAM and regular RAM, both server RAM obviously. So they're you know they're both eight gig RAM sticks, but unfortunately if they're PC RAM sticks, ha, oh, they'd fly out the door. But uh, I do have uh, someone that's um, wanting to buy them. I'm just hoping that he wants to buy these ones as well as these clean ones. And we've got another four to go, so. Um, so I'll scrap those four. Oh, and I for also forgot we also got the motherboard out of it as well, and quite a lot of steel. So, um, yeah, so hopefully, in those other four, I'll get um, a lot more uh, eight gig RAM sticks. I'll, I'll update you when I finish them. I'm just going to continue on now and scrap out the, the uh, other four, and yeah, I'll just update you as I go. Okay, so I ended up um, finishing off those five servers and, uh, well, three of them had eight gig RAM sticks, two of them had four gig RAM sticks. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, I got uh, like 64 four gig, um, these type of four gig RAM sticks um, and 64 of these and... I think I got, um, there were, uh, well, can't remember, about uh, 80 of these and about 80 odd of the uh, these ones, the 8 gig ones. So quite a lot of 8 gig RAM sticks. Uh, these ones uh, will be all sold, hope. We'll just see what happens. Hopefully my buyer wants these ones as well. Uh, these ones I've already try, tried selling them. I've still got a batch from the last five servers that I scrapped. They don't sell. Even these ones, server RAM. If they were PC RAM, no problem. But uh, yeah, for some reason, server RAM doesn't sell unless it's 8 gig or above. Preferably these days, they want 16 gig or even 32 gig because they're not really going to 
be upgrading a server of this kind with more four gig RAM sticks because more than likely they're already got four gig RAM sticks in there you know um, it's just how it goes in other countries maybe it goes better but uh, certainly here uh, believe me if my buyers could make a dollar out of them they would buy them off me 100% but they don't you know and so they don't pass up anything that they can you know make a little bit of money on so what do you do but hey main thing is i've got the uh five servers scrapped out and so that's my nice space now um i'm just going to finish off these pcs um before i go inside because i like to keep this area clear for when i do pickups um because uh, when I'm bringing in boxes that need to be sorted out, I need an undercover area. And this I find is the perfect spot. Is I put the boxes there, then throw them onto the table, sort them out, and process them like that. So this really should have been clear. And it's, those servers have been sitting there for way too long now, like four months or so. Uh, so happy about that. Happy about my RAM. I'm going to make some pretty good money there. Um, I've got the uh, scrapped out servers sitting there. there. That's just for clean pressing steel. So I use the cavities just to throw in screws and any clean bits of steel. And uh, I've got another two uh, there empty waiting um, to use as the same thing. I've already filled up two. Um, yeah, so they're the motherboards from uh, those uh, servers. Uh, that's all the plastic from the the ram modules so i cleaned up all the ram modules nicely and they're the other two servers that are already scrapped out and already full of clean steel so they're really good boxes to uh put all the little bits and pieces these uh, uh fan modules they'll just go as dirty pressing steel i don't bother trying to take out the motors out of the fans um, yeah, so now um, I'm going to uh, go back into the garage and start uh, doing some more of those PCs as well. I've got, uh, like I mentioned, I've probably got six tubs full of cable that needs to be processed. So that's going to be a, a, another job next up. I'm just going to, uh, in the next couple of days, I'm just going to go through as much as I can and get as much cable uh, done as I can to empty these bins. Uh, probably in the next video I might start doing these switches and I've got more in the driveway. Uh, since I'm going to do a clean pressing steel run, I might as well get rid of them. There's a couple of my chickens. Yep, almost ready to go to bed. <laughs> They're, they're really funny because the special time of night uh, darkness so it's not really by time they go by uh, the light and so when it gets to a special certain darkness they start going into the chicken shed um, and make their way up in onto their perches so every day it's a little bit different because every day it's a little bit lighter or a little bit darker um, yeah I've got a a wheelie bin here of they're all the modems that i've done previously that's just plastic going to plastic recycling but this uh lid is broken and i um i haven't got replacement ones so i'm just going to uh, give this whole bin to my plastic recycler and i'll get another one off him a good one uh, that's some cable that's already been processed so that's one thing out the way and uh, this is my special bin just for IP phones because um, I sell IP phones uh, to my buyer as they are. It's my stack of hard drives. Um, they're building up because I'm doing so many PCs and stuff. So I've got to get into this stuff, all these aero nets and still some modems and stuff, cast alley. Uh, copper aluminium radiators yeah so anyway that's enough of me um, hope you uh, enjoyed this bit of uh, video uh, hopefully the uh, depopulation station 
clips all turned out okay and hopefully this video doesn't have any major glitches and um, and blocks out or something and something happens otherwise I'm, I might have to redo it but hopefully not and uh, yeah all right well we're almost there guys we're getting down and uh, yeah all these tubs and boxes all around here I really want to uh, once I finish off these PCs and a few other things I'm really going to get into all this and because uh, underneath this table it's really dirty and dusty because uh, the wind sort of swirls around here when it gets windy. So, um, yeah, I really want to clean up all this area and make it really pretty. And, uh, um, yeah, it just uh, when it, there's a lot of clutter, it just seems like it just puts pressure on you subliminally. You know, you think, oh, there's always, there's a lot of stuff here. And so when it's nice and clean, it just sort of relieves the pressure. And I recommend all scrappers do that when it comes to your workshop and your work area is to try and declutter as much as you can and make it look, you know, give yourself some time to make um, your work areas nice and clean. Um, it'll just make you feel better and it just takes pressure off where you think you're not overwhelmed. Sorry if it's a bit dark in here. But yeah, I mean, even just this little bench, even though I still haven't finished off all the, the boards over here, even just this little bench, um, the fact that I, it's clear and it's just for my depopulating stuff, uh, it just, just makes things seem a little bit better anyway. Uh, so this bin here, it's actually, it's got, you know, it's mostly full of either transformers that need to be processed or these copper stackers and so now that i'm in the garage just got to do a little bit more cleaning up but this is going to be one job that i need to do as well because i must have a couple of hundred of these from pcs co copper stackers i've got to get them done and uh, get rid of the extruded aluminium and keep the copper yeah so all right guys well um i'm just going to tidy up here and uh, look out for the next video uh, it should be okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> no promises, but uh, thanks for watching. Keep scrapping. Have fun, and uh, I'll catch you real soon.